Hi everyone, I am Janet Weningolo and I am coming to you from Sonoma, California, which is about 45 minutes north of San Francisco. And I am 39 years old, a single mom of Zaya Langi Langi Doku, who is 12. So this past few months have been totally surreal, I can say. When we first learned of COVID, um, our whole lives absolutely stopped. It came to a standstill. Now that may be okay for many people, but for a duo like my son and I, we are very active and we are adventurous. So every day we're either out on the water paddling, we're hiking, we're camping, we're doing his extracurricular activities and we're always moving about. Um, there's rarely a day that we're home all day and um, usually it's because one of us is sick. So when COVID hit, it was a total standstill and it wasn't a gradual stop, it was a sudden stop. So that in itself uh, was difficult for me because I was unable to adapt straight away and that was stressful in some instances. I wasn't able to communicate with my family um, how I was feeling because I didn't want them to worry about us and as much as I wanted to fly back home and New Zealand is home at the moment, the borders were all closed. So um, in essence, it was just me and Z. I can look back now and say that it was a wonderful experience to push me out of my comfort zone, to really take a stop, a pause, a rest, to revisit my schedule, my goals, my life, and to see what was really important. Um, I want to say that as the months wore on or the days wore on, it became easier. But as, as you all know, America um, is going through a, another pandemic, which is racial. So coupled with COVID, plus the rise of all these protests against the powers that be that are suppressing and oppressing the black people of America, it just became such a um, time bomb. And we needed a break, we really did. I have a wonderful circle of friends and I'm thankful for this group or this circle that are able to check up on me. They are not my blood family. They are people who I've come to trust. And um, this circle grew because as we could virtually connect, I was able to find many other people around the nation who were facing the same difficulties as me, a single mom, employed, able to provide for her family, but just not being able to do it by herself. I'm thankful for employment and I'm thankful for our small business that we have that was able to keep us um, okay. We didn't have to worry about the finances. As you all know, we had a stimulus check sent to all the families um, and we were included. So in that respect, we were okay. But I think there was a lot of unknown. Um, I, I had to become or wear many hats, so to speak. I was Zaya's secretary, his cook, his teacher, and um, in, that in itself is stressful for a young mom. I learned to cope. I had to change my coping mechanisms. I loved to run and go to the gym. I couldn't do that. So I just started doing yoga at home. I did virtual workouts with my girlfriends on Zoom. I had a lot of happy hours <laughs> on Zoom. And all these things coupled together was able to keep me afloat mentally, emotionally, um, spiritually. I know my mom and I talk every single morning and that was a connection that really grew during this time. So I'm very, very thankful. Um, I feel for all the young moms who are going through this because uh, I know how hard it can be and even harder in the difficult times that we've had. But it is these times, it is these times that really push us and grow us to be the wonderful women we are.